Bonsoir. Now I'm back. I think this is like the third weekend in a row, maybe even the fourth, which is looking good. Um, but it's been Coachella. Weekend one and two have passed. So I thought, let's have a look at the outfits. Um, I did this for the Grammys a few weeks ago, and I said then that I would do it for Coachella. But today is Monday, the like 26th? 25th and like weekend two finished yesterday so i've waited until today to look at weekend one and weekend two but i thought we'd just go through some of the best some of the worst whatever and see what we think I've seen a few i have some favorites um haven't seen that much from weekend two but i have been watching quite a lot of the coachella vlogs and i get the like general consensus is like weekend one is really busy for like influencers because there are so many like brand and pr events on so most of the people that we expect to see looks from go weekend one and then weekend two is like less about that if that makes sense but i think we're gonna hop in um so i think let's start with kim k at revolve she looks cool um very kim k i think i think kim always dresses how you expect kim to dress like her fashion sense really complements her figure her stylists always do a great job i like the shoes I like her glasses. Accessories at a festival are like, to me, are key. So I've got a couple of festivals coming up this year and as much as I'm outfit planning, I'm planning my accessories too. Like I've ordered sunglasses for my looks already. Like accessories at a festival make or break your outfit in my opinion. But she looks quite cool. She looks like Kim Kardashian. Miss Vanessa Hudgens. She is the queen of Coachella. Like I think back to when I was younger and I think about the people that, like, I automatically think of when I think of Coachella and it is Vanessa Hudgens. This outfit is the little, like, mesh dress with a swimsuit. And I like it. I like it a lot. She just looks, she always looks so effortless at Coachella. Like, I'm sure there is planning that goes into her, web, her um, outfits. But she doesn't look like she's really thought about too much. I'm just going to look at any of her other ones from this weekend i love this pink i really think she looks stunning i i love mesh as well like i think for a festival you can't go wrong with like this sheer mesh love the pink the pink is my favorite she looks incredible now doja i love this stringy look i think it's so cool and i think based off of this there's gonna be like a lot of this kind of look this year i like that i think i've seen her in the orange i love the orange and blue i think she looks incredible to me doja cat never misses i know she had so, she had so many more outfits than this but I, I could probably do a whole video on like doja's look so i love that and i like that the black outfit is similar to that orange and blue outfit she just looks cool all the time i want to be her i actually want to be doja cat next up is the love of my life one of the loves of my life because everybody knows i also love brad simpson the sequins incredible you know harry styles could pull off anything i think i've said this before on this channel he could he could wear a bin bag and i would be like wow look at that man but this is harry's weekend one outfit and he just looks so cool and he's just i love him in fact i think if you don't love harry styles i don't trust you i do like his outfit for weekend two again i feel that harry styles could wear anything i want the coat i want the jacket so bad like I want the jackets that him and Lizzo were wearing. There is nothing I want more for my wardrobe. And if you know me, you know I literally love a jacket or a coat. Like fur coats are my thing. I love them. And I want that nice little fluffy thing that Harry is wearing. 10 out of 10 for Harry, I think. For me anyway. This photo of Hayley Baldwin, Kendall Je Hayley Bieber? Kendall Jenner and Justin Skye. They look cool. They look very casual, like very effortless. And I think... Coachella has, a lot of influencers seem to have spoken about it this weekend. Coachella has become so, like, built up that I think people stress so much about what they're wearing. And reality is just about having fun. I mean, that's so easy for me to say sat here and never been. And I would definitely feel the pressure to look good if I was going. But I think these girls look effortlessly cool. Maybe slightly boring in comparison to, like, other people's looks. But 
they look like they're just comfortable and i i appreciate that miss paris hilton now if you've watched the grammy video you know i love a bit of paris and she looks great in this in this sparkly mesh two-piece with the hat and that i love it 10 out of 10 for paris again i said this a few weeks ago she does glam so well like I just think Paris Hilton is synonymous with like glitter and glam and just looking stunning. So I am team Paris all the way. Now I love Emma Chamberlain. I am the biggest Emma Chamberlain stand there is. I just love her. I love everything about her. I think she's so real. I think she's so fashionable. Emma, same as Harry Styles, Emma Chamberlain could wear a bin bag and she would get away with it. Um, this outfit, I don't know what I was expecting from her, from her for Coachella. A few years ago, I'm going to pop a photo of this one on the screen. A few years ago, she wore this like black crop top with these really cool like jeans. Loved it. I have loved that outfit ever since. Like I still sometimes go and look to see if I could buy myself those trousers just because I think she looked so cool that year. Like again, she wasn't like in anything majorly extravagant, but she just looked cool. And I think that is Emma Chamberlain. Like I think... What she's wearing here is relatively simple like a nice little jumpsuit but she just she looks cool also emma chamberlain like i couldn't wear that there is no way i would be able to pull off what emma is wearing right now but she looks great because she's emma chamberlain like the glasses i like this little bum bag that she's got going on i like the print i like this neckline i think she looks cool i do think she looks cool and i think emma chamberlain you can wear what you want you are amazing but like i've not spoken about many guys looks i can't really think of any like i just saw jack harlow but he literally looked like he was in a t-shirt and jeans like what is there to say about that sorry jack harlow if you're watching now first up from my little list separate from this these are like instagrammers and like vloggers although actually starting with I'm starting with Leonie, is it Han? I don't know, she's a model. She is incredible. Her fashion sense is always insane. Her content online is incredible. Like her looks in Paris, her reels and TikToks and everything are always edited so beautifully. Um, and there's always, like everything she wears is a hit. She looks amazing. But I'm gonna start with her, I'm gonna go through all her looks for Coachella. And I think in the next few, I'll go through all of their looks just because, um, the last website I was on, it only gave me like a few options, whereas I know that all of these people have posted all of their looks on Instagram. But we'll start with this glittery dress. I love this. I love it. I just think it's what I think of when I think of a festival is like glitter and shimmer. And I just think she looks insane. Obviously, she's got a great body. I love these butterfly earrings. I know the dress is from an area and so are the earrings. Um she looks amazing and i like how pretty the dress is at night i just think that is what i think of when i think of festival fashion i know a lot of people wore stuff from area this year and i can't say that i've ever really heard of them but um like chintzia had a top from area and she had the earrings from area and a few other people but we'll get onto them but yeah i love this sparkly look i think she looks amazing and then on to the fringed look again incredible i love this like tan color now some of these might not have been what she actually wore to Coachella and some might be, oh no, that's in front of the wheel, so that is. I love it. I love the shoes. I love the fringe. Again, very desert festival vibes. She looks great. And then I think her other look is this black and white. It looks like those Van Cleef bracelets. It's kind of giving me that vibe. I know that's not what it is, but I really like this. Again, festivally, completely. It's what I think of when I think of Coachella is the looks like Leonie has on I think it's because also her Coachella looks in the past stick out to me in my head but yeah I think 11 out of 10 for me every all three looks were such a hit and like I think all her looks all the time are a hit I think she always looks incredible right next up if you don't mean you know I love Sophia and Jinsia um I couldn't do this video and not talk about their outfits because I think they they look great this year Jinsia's neon dress I love again simple with the matching green bag and like but effective like it's not too out there but it's just cool and i love the pink eyeliner i just think that little pop of pink with the green incredible and then chintia's day two outfit is probably one of my favorites because i love this top i think is it sophie 
I don't know how to pronounce her name. Sushan? Sucken? I don't know. Friends with like Nitsan and Emma Ledger. She wore the same top, but I just love this pink and blue butterfly top. I think, again, epitome of the festival, the Chanel shell bag. I just love it. I love the sparkle. And I like that with the denim shorts, like the top is very much the statement piece in this outfit. She just looks so cool. And then, yeah, the day three outfit of the blue little bikini. And I think it's like a blue chainmail skirt with the blue eyeliner. Amazing. Oh, she just looks incredible. I think, again, all three looks are so nice. Not too in your face. You're not like, oh, that's a bit much. She just looks cool. And she looks like she's having a great time. I don't know. Like, if you've watched their vlog, they just look like they had the best time. And I just want to be there with them. And then... We can't do Chintzia without Sophia. And again, I think Sophia really hit the mark with her outfits. I know in the, if you watch them, she hadn't like sorted her outfits until the last minute. But I love this double denim look with the the jean top and the, the trousers. And I just think it's so cool. Like, it's very clearly a pair of jeans at the top. But she just looks cool. And then I love her day two outfit. I think the skirt and the co-ord classic a, cl a co award a classic co award i just love you can't go wrong with i mean they're in the desert that's the other thing i always forget it must be so hot at coachella and i know that they, a lot of people say it's cool in the evenings but i think she just looks cool and i love the gold chain on this i'm not sure if it's actually on the skirt or if she's added that too but she looks great and then day three again love this feather skirt i love everything with feathers at the minute i think it's so cute i think like i want feathers on my festival outfits this year and then i like that sophia like chintzy and sophia have both done really well with like in my opinion that skirt is a statement enough on its own you don't need a wild top with it so the white little vest top is all she needs like the skirt is the statement there's no point making an outfit that's too busy and then that little glittery green bag amazing she looks amazing. Her and Lid, her and Chintia look amazing. I just, tens all round. I actually, I think I said this in the last video and I, I do stand by it. Fashion is so subjective. And I think um, as long as you're comfortable in what you're wearing, who cares what anybody else thinks? Like for me, I would never just sit here and fully slate what somebody's wearing. Like I might say, if you watch the Grammys video, there are a few like, oh, maybe that's a bit boring, but everybody looks incredible. And as long as you feel comfortable, who cares? Like, I think that's what's so great about fashion is like, you can you can really always wear whatever you want. And I actually really stand by, you can't be overdressed. Like, life's too short to think, oh, actually I can't wear that because what if other people aren't dressed up? Wear it, wear the dress, wear the skirt, wear the, the wacky jumpsuit. Like, just do what you want for you. I don't know how I got onto that round, but I think that is important. And now we are going to go over to Lydia Zullo. I love Lydia's outfits. Again, um, day one, I love the white fringe trousers. I think they're so festivally. Yeah, I love the white. I love the fringe. And again, the nice, like, simple top. And then her day two outfit, this, like, camel co-ord. Is it co-ord? With the fringing very desert vibes i think uh, do you know what i think it almost gives like safari vibes i don't in a good way in a good way i love it i think that like there's been quite a lot of friends like lydia had the fringe leone had the fringe and i'm sure there are people that i haven't like seen that have had loads of fringe i think that's just festivally though isn't it in general and then her day three the blue outfit with the sparkly like cow neck top i think the top might be poster girl i could be wrong uh, love that i love a little bit of sparkle at the festival and i think these cow neck tops are so in like i know that there are other influences that i've seen in them at coachella tens all round for sophia chintzia and lydia okay next up is nitsan well i was gonna say rater but she's flux gold now if you don't follow nits and emma ledger and sophie i think you really need to like their fashion content is next level. Like, I love. And I used to see so many girls talking about them online. And I wasn't... I didn't really know who they were. And now I'm obsessed. 
Um, let's go for Nitz's day one. Love the black. I really like this little black top. I am very much an advocate for an all black outfit. If you know me, you know I wear a lot of all black. And I just think she looks great. I love the sunglasses and the silver bag. And also the silver jewellery on her arm. I think she looks great. She looks so cool. She always looks cool though. And then the day two outfit. These pink, like, tall, fluffy trousers. And the white crop. Love. Like Sophia, I really like that she's got this, like, very plain top and the trousers do all the talking i know that that outfit's not for everyone so i've seen some people be like i'm not sure but i really like these trousers i think they're cool i think they're festival vibe i think a lot of people's outfits for coachella is like if you can't wear it at coachella when would you wear it do you know what i mean and i i like these trousers a lot and then her day three outfit the little heart top and the skirt again this is from area see there's a lot of area here this year i don't know if it's a new brand, I just think all their stuff is really cool. But she looks great. Again, I love a co-ord. Love, love, love a co-ord. Tens for knits, I think. Like, I think she looks great. And then the three girls together, their outfits just work so well. Like, I'll put a photo on the screen of the three of them now. The pink and the white. Like, I don't know whether they coordinated that or if it was just by chance. But I love that nice little trio look. I already know I love Emma's outfits. Um, I've looked at these a few times already. Her day one, I love this this tiny little black hot pant bra set with the Chanel belt on it. She looks great. She, she I just speechless clearly. Um, the boots, the sunglasses, I think incredible. And the day two with the star top and the white trousers, really again I love it. I love monochromatic outfits like all white all black all pink whatever like i just think she looks cool the star top so festivally like that definitely is a top i would think if it wasn't for like if it wasn't our festival like at the beach where would you wear it so she looks so cool i really think she's hit the mark 100 percent. and then day three she's got a chain dress i don't know if this is from area actually no i think it is similar to leone's i love it the dress over the black, so cool, so festival. 10 out of 10. Let's go on to Sophie, shall we? I don't know how to say Sophie's last name. Day one. I like this. The mesh with the feather. A bit of sparkle. Very cool. Again, this is what I mean. Feather's clearly going to be everywhere again this year. Um, it's Sophie's day two outfit that really stands out for me. This little pink Chanel co-ord. I honestly, I think it's stunning. I think it's incredible. Like, I would give that an 11 out of 10. I think it's quite... It is simple in a way, but she looks incredible. And I just love that colour. I love pink. I am such a pink girl and I can't fault that outfit. And then her day three outfit, the little butterfly top that... Chinzy had on with a black mini skirt. Love, love, love. Honestly, love. Like all these people have really hit the mark for me. Um, oh, I hadn't seen this until now. Mika's white suit with the the flowers on. I love that. This is actually in a worst dress article, but I completely disagree. I think that's so cool. I like the bright colours. I think it's so cute. I actually really, really love that. I was going out of my way to see if there was anything I haven't liked yet. And I haven't seen anything that I don't like. Oh God, it's taking me so long to film an outro. Because I just keep rambling. But basically, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm sure some of this will have inspired my festival wardrobe for this year. I have got a few festivals coming up, I think. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else you want to see from me, the Met Gala's coming up soon, so I'm sure I'll probably uh, review those outfits. But if there's anything you want to see from me, let me know, and I will see you all next week. I've actually got some really fun videos planned the next two weeks, so fingers crossed um, you love them. But I will see you next week. Bye.